What's up everybody? Welcome back to 7 Star Fitness. My name is Keegan and today we are going to be doing something a little different than normal. Today we are actually going to be taking a look not at a specific supplement but at a supplement company. So we're going to take a look at them via their website of course uh, and we're going to just kind of evaluate them. This is sort of a two-part experience in terms of its purpose. The first part is to just sort of take a look at what they have to offer, kind of evaluate it, get a feel for what these guys do and kind of see see how they stack up. I'll give them a, a letter grade at the end. Uh, and the second part is to give you guys an idea as to how I look at supplement companies and how I evaluate them, how I kind of parse through the information that I find on their websites and of course the information I glean from their product lineup and how that informs my sort of general impression of the company in general so uh, this is going to be a bit of an insight for you guys so hopefully you can use this on your own when you're looking through the product lineup of various supplement companies and maybe through some of their marketing materials some of the things that they say about their products and then you guys can make your own decisions about how you feel about them based on this hopefully being a little bit more informed as consumers so uh, with that in mind today we are covering HD Muscle. Now, HD Muscle, uh, now, full disclosure here, I'm not going to lie, I already kind of have a great deal of positive feelings for the company uh, and that is because we recently for Popeyes some of you know longtime watchers of the channel will know that I work for Popeyes as well on the weekends and uh, we were invited up to the pure muscle and fitness uh, facility which is their gym and we got the chance to sit down with Dr. Dwayne Jackson uh, I'll also throw his information up here uh, and we got to sit down with Dr. Dwayne Jackson and we got to sort of get a full rundown of all of their products and he talked about you know the science of various ingredients and how they function and the sort of methodology the thought process behind why they included a lot of these pieces into the various supplements and then allowed us to kind of wrap our heads around what that could do for our customers and helped us figure out how to sell it to various people in terms of who it could help and how it could benefit them and I gotta say, I was impressed, not only from, you know, the spiel that he gave, because of course, you know, when it comes to having someone talk to you in that sort of capacity, there can definitely be a lot of shuck and jab, a lot of, you know, fancy salesmanship that can definitely confuse and amaze people. But in this particular case, as someone who has, I mean, not a doctorate or anything, I'm not, or a, a PhD, but I have a decent amount of knowledge about supplement ingredients uh, and their effectiveness and dosages and things like that, and I was impressed by what I saw. So, without further ado, we're going to dive into these guys, and we'll just take a couple products into consideration. We'll look at the sort of overview of everything that they carry, but also, you know, take a look at a few products, uh, as well as just feel for the website, and we'll kind of get a feel for, you know, what these guys are about, and, you know, what how they might score, generally, and how I might feel about them, sort of, as a, as a company as a whole. Uh, so, uh, let's get into it. I'm not sure exactly who this is, but I'm sure she's meant to be a bit of eye candy to catch your eye, and, you know, make you pay attention to what's going on here. I mean, I'm not going to say mission accomplished, but I'm sure y'all have an opinion about it. Men, women, how do you feel about these? How do you, how do you guys feel about these sorts of pictures? I'm interested. Comment below. Let me know. We see a couple badges uh, down around here, uh, and the first one here is third-party lab tested. Now, you you may or may not know this about me, but I'm a big fan of any company that's willing to have their products tested third party in a third-party lab. This means that it has been evaluated by someone who is distanced from any sort of commercial enterprise as far as this company is concerned and so they can give an impartial objective evaluation of the product its um, e efficacy you know the if it's actually containing the ingredients said you know so the integrity of the product uh, and you know it being third party tested that's that's great i'm a big fan of that so it means that you're getting a you know a cut above there's a lot of reliability there it also means that they have to pay for that to happen it's not free so that's probably where you're going to get some of the more premium pricing and this is a more premium brand of supplement just across the board you're not going to be paying cheapo prices and i know prices right now aren't exactly cheapo to begin with but these guys definitely are not coming in at cheapo prices they shoot for the moon to make sure that they have the highest quality products and you you do end up having to pay for the fact that you're getting the highest quality products but 
I digress. We're getting ahead of ourselves here. Uh, no artificial colors and dyes. I really like that because quite frankly, I do not need the colors and dyes in there. It's, it's extra nonsense that really you could just kick to the curb in favor of just more actual product. Give me the stuff that's gonna actually have a significant impact on my health, my fitness, my performance, and just leave everything else out. It's not necessary. I mean, some flavors, please, for the love of God. I, I mean, something to help there is, you know, beneficial. I definitely welcome that, but, you know, only as much as is really needed. Non-proprietary formulas, that badge, that one is of particular interest to me and those like me. Within the supplement industry, there is a thing called proprietary blends. Some of you may know about this, some of you may not, but the basic idea is that with a proprietary blend, a company can sort of say, we have this fancy blend of ingredients that we call Mega Boost or whatever, they give it some fancy name, and then in the ingredients label, they'll just sort of list everything that is in Mega Boost. Um, they'll say, oh, it's dosed at three grams of Mega Boost. Now, what usually this is to meant for is usually usually to hide the fact that the expensive and effective and you know ingredients that are actually useful as far as scientific literature is concerned are underdosed like way underdosed they cheap out on those hardcore and then they put in more of the cheaper don't really do much of anything fancy fun buzzwordy kind of ingredients and then all of that's mixed together in the proprietary formula list you can't tell how much of one thing is in there versus how much of another thing. You can kind of guess based on its order in the list, but that's all you can do because they're not going to give you individual values for everything that's in there. That's part of the proprietary blend. It's, it's a secret blend. Really, it's just total horseshit meant to fleece you out of your money by giving you all of the cheap stuff in large quantities that doesn't do much of anything, if it does anything at all, and very little of the good stuff so that it's either underdosed so it doesn't do what it's supposed to do, or it doesn't do anything at all because there's not enough of a dose in there to really count for anything. And that's usually what that is. So the fact that they're not using any proprietary formulas, great. It means that you'll be able to see the amounts of everything that's in there and they're willing to stand by the amounts and say, look, this is what the scientific evidence says in terms of its efficacy and this is what its dosage should be and this is how much we put in there. You got a problem with it? Come take it up with us. And yeah, if you're willing to do that, 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 speaks, uh, that speaks volumes to the integrity of your product and the integrity of your company. So... Yeah, I'm impressed. Um, and tested for heavy metals. That's another very positive one. Some of you, again, long time viewers, might know about that uh, video I did on Vega Protein, where I talked about uh, years back, there was a, an evaluation done on a bunch of vegan proteins to see just how much protein they contained and what was in them and how much it matched the labels, blah, blah, blah. And what they found for Vega is that it fell to the very bottom of the list of quality because it contained heavy metals in, in part, there's other problems with it, but heavy metals was something that was a major problem with it. It contained a lot of heavy metals, more than all the other ones tested. And that is not going to play well for your body, uh, generally speaking. Your health will not be positively influenced by the inclusion of heavy metals in your supplements. So it's one of the reasons that I just don't trust Vega even to this day. I don't care if someone says, oh, well, they changed it. I don't care. I don't care if you got caught once. I don't know. Maybe you just figured out how to not get caught the next time. Why didn't you just not do it the first time? Seems like the kind of thing you should have just not done the first time. I'm wondering if that's part of the third party lab testing. Nonetheless, the fact that they specifically mention it i am very happy with it makes me very happy as a consumer it looks like an instagram roll here so there's a roll of various photos from their instagram and like i said like their marketing is fantastic their instagram pictures just look friggin beautiful just absolutely spectacular and hey right here take a look right front and center i don't know if my cursor is actually being captured but if it is Front and center, just below the power cord for the TV, actually. If you follow that power cord down to the front, head right in the front there, that's me at that event I was telling you guys about. And that's Dr. Dwayne Jackson. Uh, of course, the, I believe, CSO, uh, uh, Editor Keegan, if you find out different, correct me. Uh, but 
believe TSO, but like he he's in charge of the formulations for HD Muscle, and yeah, he he told us all about the various products and whatnot, and yeah, it was it was just a great a great listen. Let's get into the products, shall we? Let's get into Pro HD, their protein isolate supplement. So, what do we got going on in here? So basically, we're looking. 100% grass-fed whey. That's great. High-quality stuff. Um, zero fillers, as far as they say here. They oh, they feel to the best-tasting protein powder. Again, I don't tend to trust these things. An impartial review would be a much better process to kind of uh, evaluate its its taste. But I mean, if you're gonna say that, I hope you can back it up. Cross-flow microfiltration to further enhance the product uh, by eliminating unwanted impurities and excess fats, cholesterols, and lactose. Okay. To specifically say that means that they're paying attention to that crowd to some degree, and that is worth, that's worth noting. Digestseb, it's proven an effective digestive enzyme blend that supports optimal breakdown, digestion, absorption, and absorption of nutrients ensuring our protein and other food sources you consume with ProHD are effectively utilized by the body. Okay. Well, let's uh, see if we can find out what Digestive really is all about. Let's see if we can look here. I mean, wow, pretty good macros just right off the bat. So we got 30 servings per container. I wish they had a five pound tub. I don't tend to like this sort of smaller, like two-ish pound tubs because you burn through them so so fast it just i would much prefer a five pounder because like i don't have to keep going back and going back and going back and going back or having to stock up like a billion two pounder tubs and it's almost always cheaper to buy in bulk than it is to buy in the smaller two pounds so like i feel like you could save us a couple bucks by going on the five pounder if you want to be brave hit us with the 10 or the 12 pounder like rivalist does that'd be solid too i would not fight that um but i'm getting ahead of myself here um 110 calories per serving, zero grams of fat, as they did sort of mention, zero cholesterol, 160 milligrams of sodium, at least for the vanilla flavor, two grams of carbs, neither of which are dietary fiber or total sugar as you were added. That's great. Uh, 25 grams of protein, pretty solid amount for an isolate. And of course, one that's clean too. Um, and especially at like 30... 31.3 grams per serving. That's that's pretty good. No vitamin D, 120 29 milligrams of calcium, and 164 milligrams of potassium. Okay. Um, what do we have in the ingredients list? So we have the grass-fed whey protein isolate, natural flavor, right? Salt, close sodium chloride. Okay. I don't know why that's in there, but maybe it's just kind of like a, the flavor pops some. Balance between salt and sweet, very important. Digestseb, here we go. Okay, so Digestseb seems to contain amylase, which, for those of you who don't know, amylase is an enzyme that helps break down carbohydrates. Lactase, ooh, there it is. Lactase is the enzyme that digests lactose. So for people like me who are lactose intolerant, we don't produce lactose or lactase. So when we have something with lactose in it, it really negatively affects our system because our body just sort of lets it move through the system. Bacteria starts to attack it. The bacteria start to create gas, it makes us very uncomfortable gastrointestinally, it creates an episode, a huge problem for us. But when we have something that has a lactase enzyme in it, either a supplement with the lactase enzyme or it's already in the product itself, the lactase breaks down the lactose, allowing our bodies to process it as it should, or at least I should say, as people who aren't lactose intolerant do. So lactase, we also have protease, so that's gonna help, uh, that's the enzyme that helps break down protein. Lipase, the enzyme that helps break down fat, which is interesting, because you don't have any fat in here, so I guess this is just to go with whatever it is you happen to be adding this shake to in terms of your meal, which is pretty is pretty great. It's almost like having a little bit of a digestive enzyme supplement with your protein. So that's a, a great little addition there. And cellulase, which is a uh, enzyme to help break down fiber. Uh, and then you have a gum blend, which I'm sure is going to help with like mixability and texture of this product. Stevia leaf and sucralose. Okay, so stevia and sucralose are the sweeteners. Looks like stevia leading the charge. Sucralose falling behind. Don't know by how much, but it is the last ingredient on the list. Um, so, okay, that's cool. Um, it looks like a pretty solid offering there. Oh, testimonials. Oh, Antoine. Antoine's one of the testimonials here. 
which is, I mean, he has a good chorus, as you'd expect, positive. Yeah, he has a positive outlook on this. IFBB Pro, bodybuilder, and Olympian. Antoine, by the way, super nice dude. He is a absolute f***ing beast. Like, huge. The man is a tank. He's a human meat tank. Like, just crazy huge. Super nice. Just like a gentle giant, if ever there was one. So, shout out to you, Antoine. Hope you're doing well, man. Hope, uh, I think he's on prep right now as I record this. I think he's still in the midst of prep, so he's leaning down for his next show, and he looks fantastic. So, you know, again, props to you, man. It takes a lot of effort to go through prep. I, I'll just leave it at that. And I once worked for a company that had a website where you could leave reviews, and they 100% had someone on who was on our staff was just padding the reviews. They were just writing random reviews and sliding them under various products, specifically, very strategically. So I'm jaded, like jaded AF when it comes to reviews online. I trust none of them, none of them. Sometimes if there's like thousands of them, maybe. But even then, again, I take it with a grain of salt. If anybody has tried this, if anybody watching this has tried this and you're lactose intolerant, please hit me up in the comment section below. Tell me if this actually worked well for you and you didn't have any bad gastrointestinal episodes because I'm lactose intolerant. And yeah, for you guys, for the content, I will 100% dive in on this and suffer the consequences should this go badly. But it takes a lot of planning and it, it kind of f***s up a whole day for me if I do end up going down that route or a night for me. It could really f*** the night's sleep into the ground if, that, if I have something that is filled with lactose and I just have a reaction. I mean, it, it, it goes badly for me. So if you are lactose intolerant and you've tried this and it worked well for you, let me know. If you're lactose intolerant and you've tried this and it didn't work for you, again, let me know. I want to hear your stories about it. So if you've got experience with it and you're lactose intolerant, please hit me up. I am very curious. I'd like to take a look at Burn HD. Okay, so Burn HD is supposed to be their thermogenic and cortisol support. So this would fall pretty strictly into the category that you'd see in most supplement uh, stores as a fat burner. I, I, f I fucking hate fat burners, mostly from the naming perspective. There are some companies out there doing decent work when it comes to just supporting the body's ability to naturally burn fat. But the idea of a fat burner infers this idea that there's some sort of magical mystical trickery going on to fool your body into burning more fat than it normally would or like super physiological amounts of fat here's a spoiler alert for you if you want to burn way more fat than your body is normally capable of you're gonna need to take something that's probably illegal that's just the long and the short of it and honestly, those things tend to come at a cost. They do take a toll on your system. You can't do them forever. It's just the facts of the matter. All the best products that you will find out there really are doing are helping optimize your body's ability to burn fat as it should. And that's still going to be very much predicated on how well you're eating and your exercise. If you're not doing those things, you're probably not going to see any results. That's just the facts of the matter. So, I, it, oftentimes it just it's sold as trickery, and I just I hate it. It just it's so disingenuous. But point is, these guys don't say the words fat burner. They say weight loss support, elevated mood and energy, cortisol control. Okay, I can get behind that because we're dancing around the subject a little bit, but we're still very much saying that we're trying to support the body's natural systems so that whatever fuckery you're doing about your diet or your lifestyle that's compromising this, they're going to try to cover for as many of those bases as humanly possible. Uh, and really, that's, that's all you can really ask for from a lot of the best products out there. It's just covering the bases for the bullshit that you're doing with your life that's not agreeable to the optimal way of building muscle, burning fat. So what do we got going on in here? Ooh, ashwagandha. 
great for dealing with stress management and stress and cortisol, cortisol and fat. There's a relationship to be had here that can be positively influenced by the inclusion of ashwagandha to improve the body's ability to deal with stress, which will then improve cortisol levels. Um, so cool. Yes. I'm not going to pronounce that. So this is very much kind of helping with the sort of post-workout brain fog and cortisol spike okay oh the brain fog specifically dealing with when you're dieting or in a caloric deficit the fog is real it feels like you're walking through a haze living in a haze it's not a fun time so that is very positive dandelion root which common use is the diuretic I'm guessing this is just sort of to help you get a little bit of extra, you know, get a little bit of momentum when it comes to starting to look better. Because as you lose some water, that loss of water is going to increase definition. That increase of definition is going to kind of make you go, oh, look, oh, it's working. That positive feeling, positive outlook is going to have a positive effect on your mood, positive effect on stress levels, and of course, a positive effect on fat. Yes, just like we mentioned with the ashwagandha. So it's a very indirect route, but... It, there is a direct effect on how somebody's going to look and a sort of indirect improvement on the overall scenario. So, yeah, cool. Olive leaf extract. Grains of paradise and iodine. This is to help with thyroid function. Interesting. This is a very different sort of methodology than I've seen in a lot of other products meant to help with getting rid of or managing fat retention. So it looks like this is gonna help with thyroid function, has strong strong thermogenic effects, which thermogenic effects are gonna help with the burning of calories, which will of course help improve, you know, the depth of your deficit without you having to actually do more exercise or eat even less. Target and activate brown adipose tissue, which can increase energy expenditures and enhance metabolic rate. Okay. Interesting. Cayenne pepper fruit extract. So this one thermogenic? Yeah. So this is be for the thermogenic effect. So like almost like the uh, uh, TEF, which is your thermogenic effect of food. That's uh, one of the relatively major sections of your total daily energy expenditure. Uh, and so increasing that or at least amplifying what you can of that to help improve caloric expenditure over the course of the day. I like this product. Partly from the ingredients, which honestly like are well formulated. It's a well formulated product, but also just from like the positioning. It's not positioning itself as like a fat burner, trick your body into burning all the fat all the time. It's just saying, hey, we're gonna help support your body's ability to burn fat, support, you know, your mood, because in a caloric deficit, shit ain't easy. And, you know, help you achieve the body that you're trying to achieve as quickly as humanly possible. Um, and as easily as possible and it's more through optimization than it is through some sort of weird strange magics that they're attempting to say they have which they don't at any point really say that they do have which again i respect i like that again that speaks to the integrity of the product the integrity of the company as far as their marketing and the way they're they're letting you know what this product does and so there's no uh, there's no hidden nonsense um about this product so that's fantastic i'm a very big fan of what they got going on here and i was expecting to see something that would kind of piss me off so great good on you guys i'm very impressed um and last now before we even get into it eahd now as i look here i do not see a bcaa and that in and of itself that's a positive and that is because i believe especially as far as the scientific evidence is concerned scientific evidence says that if you are eating the amount of protein you need per day from animal sources you do not need a bca supplement it is a redundant product a hat on a hat if you will that doesn't really do anything to benefit you it's not going to hurt you no but it's not helping you it's a it's a waste of money um oh, some people would say things like you know amino acids don't function in a vacuum and so to just say like lysine's anabolic throw lysine at this person they'll be anabolic that is it's not so simple good sir these amino acids function best when they are provided with all of their friends so to speak uh and i that's where like an eaa comes into play 
uh, an EAA, as the name would suggest, an essential amino acid, contains the essential amino acids that you cannot get from anywhere except from external sources. You can't, your body has no way of kind of crafting them on its own. So, what do we got here from their EAA supplement? Boom. Perfect. And the funny thing is, when you're comparing a BA, BCAA to an EAA, a BCAA is leucine isoleucine valine. They don't have to put anything else other than that in order to call it a BCAA. An EAA, however, is going to have leucine, isoleucine, and valine, and a whole bunch of others in there. Six other amino acids that are beneficial for the general function of your body and the improvement of lean mass. So, I don't... But here's the thing, I don't have to even care about that. I can completely ignore that side of the conversation, that tirade my body, my brain was trying to send me down because they don't even give a shit. They just went right for the cup, right for the throat and was like, boom, EAA, that's what we're doing. If you don't like it, get off our page. That, that's just the end of that, that's what it is. And so it looks like we got five grams per scoop and it's a 5.15 gram scoop. So they're really cutting it close. Like there's nothing else in here. Maybe some flavoring, that's it. I'm interested to see how this would taste, mostly from the perspective that, is it flavored? It might not be flavored. If it's unflavored, I mean, cool. That means you'd probably want to mix it into something else. But, uh, yeah, that means you're just going to be able to get pure EAAs to just add into whatever you want. That's kind of cool. Very useful. And, uh, oh, look, they even say it down here. Amino 9, which is their, look, 9 amino acid kind of complex that they got going on here, uh, has been shown to stimulate muscle protein synthesis as much as whey protein and do so with a lower insulin spike and has also been shown to stimulate muscle protein synthesis or more. It should be saying more, shouldn't it? And spike and has also been shown to stimulate muscle protein synthesis. Yeah. It's a probably supposed to say to sh shown to stimulate more muscle protein synthesis than BCAAs. Hey, typos, they happen. I get it. We ain't perfect. We're humans. But it's also non-dairy, gluten-free, allergen-free, and 100% vegan, which is great. Because when it comes to that whole thing I said about uh, BCAAs not really being necessary, that was for animal-based proteins. If you're a vegan or a vegetarian or something like that, where you're not getting as much animal-based proteins or any at all, you're going to need to find a way to make sure that your general amino acid, in amino acid intake is well-balanced and at optimal levels, especially if you're looking to be a bodybuilder and put on a lot of lean mass and so this is going to be a great product for you vegan sourced allergen free gluten free non-dairy what more could you ask for vegans get on this product this is this looks like it's one that's very well suited for you guys so you can throw it in whatever you happen to be drinking and just go about your day and know that you're helping do your body right by the amount of building blocks it needs in order to optimally form muscle and that's going to have such a positive impact on your physique and your performance and your life in general just trust me on that it it will. I, I would love to deep dive in all their stuff, but honestly, this video would be for it takes so long if we did that. Now, if that's something that you guys are super interested in, maybe I'll do it in a couple parts, but um, comment below. Let me know if that's something you want to see me do, and I will totally jump in on that. Um, you'll have to give me some time because, like I said, that'll take a while, not only to film, but also to edit. But uh, I think we'll cut it hit, but it, we'll just kind of cut it there. I think we're good. I think I've seen more than enough to kind of give my general impressions and a score for this company personally i totally think that these guys are an a plus like how could i not give them an a plus solid offering in terms of their product lineup uh, it looks like they're very much targeting the sort of bodybuilder community but it would have benefits for all sorts of people but the bodybuilding community definitely seems to be a main focus especially with things like liver kidney hd and sleep hd huge cornerstones for bodybuilders um glyco hd which i currently take and i'll have a review for that coming up very soon keep your eyes open for that uh and cree hd which i believe is going is cree pure let's double check it cree pure easy to spot when you kind of get the mo of what they're doing uh but yeah um 
I could totally go in on all these products and we could have a long chat about them. Uh, but yeah, it it's, looks like it's kind of meant to really help optimize a bodybuilder's general day-to-day -day life so that they can get everything they need from their diet and see optimal gains and the optimal function of their body. Uh, Fight HD would take forever to go through. But point is, solid company. Their stuff looks fantastic. It's got a great social media presence. Their stuff is all just looks beautiful, crisp, very intuitive, easy to use website. And the products are fantastic. Great formulation, great dosages, great ingredient choices, and great positioning on the products in terms of what they're meant to do and how they're supposed to work for you. I'm a huge fan. Of course, again, anybody who's tried Pro HD, if you're lactose intolerant, I want to know what your experience was like. Let me know. Let's have a conversation about it. I am super curious to know how that went down for you guys. Uh, I'm interested in trying some of these products for myself and, of course, delivering you guys some reviews so you guys can know if it is worth the money because these guys do not come with a small price tag, but I'm hoping that that price tag is definitely well worth every penny. Um, anyways, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you found it educational. Uh, please, if you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button, please. Uh, and throw down a comment on anything if you liked the video. Anything you happen to be feeling about this video, this content, this company, anything. Because uh, it helps the algorithm. And, of course, I love to talk to you guys. I love to interact with the audience. So, please, do that for me, please. And, of course, you'll be able to get... All the updates and all the videos that we got coming for you guys in the future uh, and of course as always stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together peace